Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Chronos machine from Hack the Box. Uh, as you can see, uh, Chronos is a little bit harder than the previous boxes. Uh, its difficulty is 4.3. Let's uh, jump into it. Alright, so now I've chosen to solve uh, Chronos on Kali because uh, I've had some uh, issues on my Mac OS. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the Nine map. It's IP is 10, 10, 10, 13. Alright, so the map is over. Um, okay, we have port SSH, port 22, point 3, 5, 53, and port 80. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we have port 53. Usually, uh, I I add the IP, uh, followed by the domain name, uh, in uh, the slash ATC slash host, as, as you can see here gonna be 10 10 10 13 tab chronos dot htb like that save it like this okay let's see if it works all right it works now we're gonna use dig to see the subdomains uh, to search for the subdomains and we use the dig like this dig a a x f r uh, the domain name chronos dot um, HTB around Chronos at HTB. Like All right, so as you can see, we have admin dot Chronos at HTB, NS one dot Chronos at HTB, and www. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna add um, we're gonna add admin dot Chronos dot HTB on our at slash ATC slash host, just as we did before. All right. So, all right. So as you can see, we have two websites. Um, of course, the first things I've tried with both is to enumerate the di the directories. Uh, for that, I've used their search dot p uh, dot pi, but there there wasn't any really interesting about them. So the next thing I did was use SQL map on uh, on this login page. So, uh, yeah, so SQL map said uh, the username parameter is, uh, is vulnerable and it started, uh, it started dumping out some information. But the thing is that I wanted to end it, uh, end it fast. So I've just found uh, an injection that actually works. So it's admin or one equals one, like that. And the password doesn't really matter because it's. It's only the username. It's vulnerable. It's it's vulnerable to injections. So click submit, and as you can see, we have kind of a ping tool online, which is in fact vulnerable to command injection. So yeah, I'm gonna show you in a minute. Yeah, like that. Okay. So for command injection, we do semicolon and a let for example like that so so as you can see we have we can list the directory the 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 uh the let me see which directory yes yeah, uh, slash var slash www slash admin so what we want is we want to get a reverse shell so for that uh i've used the php reverse shell which is I'm gonna put it in the description because it's kind of long. So yeah, it was something like that. Let me see. So my IP is my IP address is ten ten fourteen thirteen. Okay, I'm gonna put up an I'm gonna start an, a netcat here on port four 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 like that, and we have to yeah ten ten fourteen thirteen. It's fine. And we also have to check the port. Okay, the port number is fine. Let's go. Execute. Okay, so there we have it. 
we got a reverse shell. All right, so searching through, uh, searching through directories. If we go to home, we have the user nullis, and the nullis we have the user.txt. Yeah, so there you have it. And now, if we go back to var, uh, uh, var www, and uh, after find after searching through uh, after searching around, I found an interesting thing on the cron tab. Like that. Okay. So if we cat the uh, cron tabs, as you can see, root executes a PHP file called artisan in uh, the Laravel in the Laravel directory in var www. All right, so we're gonna check it. Uh, var www Laravel and artisan. No, Laravel like that. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we have the artisan. We have the artisan file here, and we want to see if it's if we can write it. So artisan is there. All right, so we can write it, we can execute it, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we want to modify it in order to get us a reverse shell from the root user. And how we can do that is first we need to listen for a new, uh, uh, to 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 put up a new uh net netcat, and we do that by nc minus l and uh, v p. All right. The port doesn't really matter, whatever you want. Like this. And we also want to upload a reverse shell. And how I usually do that is I start a simple Python uh, HTTP server, which goes like this Python minus M, simple HTTP server. And you specify the port. Uh, I usually put it 8000, like this. Okay. So. We go if we go back to Kelly, uh, if we go back to the, our reverse shell, we can modify as a, as I said before. We can modify artisan file, and what we want to write there is we want it to execute. Uh, we want it first to get our reverse shell on the server, and then we want it to execute it. So for that, I've prepared. Let me get one more tab here. Oh, I like this. I've prepared a reverse shell, which you will find in the description below. A link to it. And what you need to modify for this is the IP, as it says here, change this. But in my case, the IP is 10.10.14.13, 10, and the port is 7.7.7.7, which I specified before. So this will work. Okay, we go back to. Alright, so we paste it into artisan like this. Like that. Okay, cat artisan. And as you can see it has it has this this PHP command. And we go back to the to our uh, other netcat. And then we are waiting now because it takes a while for the cron tab to get to get executed. All right, so as you can see, it got executed, and the machine did first a request to get the the reverse.php file, and then it executed it, giving us the reverse shell as root. So, as you can see, we are root, and if we go to root, and uh, we have the root.txt file there. All right, so this was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope I thank you so much for following along. I recently hit 100 subscribers, and I'm so happy for that. Um, next, I'm gonna do a Windows machine, and hopefully, I mean not hopefully, for sure, I'm gonna post more often. I've had an exam period before, so I couldn't really be that active. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you guys soon.